America. They created that war in America, the Civil War, to create the Constitution, to end persecution against the Jesuits, so they could infiltrate America and build it up to be its right arm, its military arm, creating their intelligence op operations and agencies in America to then overthrow nation after nation after nation. And that's what the Jesuit general done, using the Federal Reserve and using America to fund communism, to fund Nazism and every ism across the planet. Jesuit general's agents really infiltrated the banking system. They in infiltrated every single government. That's why we had the Second Thirty Years' War of 1914 and 1945. And the Jesuit order really installed uh, Stalin to be the Grand Inquisitor, putting to death millions of Jews and Protestants, and to bring Russia under the restoration of the Pope's temporal power under the cover of communism. Same with Catholic Benito Mussolini, another tool of the Jesuit order, and Adolf Hitler, and Bormann. Bormann was the real dictator of Germany. Everything is a lie. Even the nuclear war hoax, even the Cold War hoax of 1945 to 1989, it's all a lie. America today is ruled by the Jesuits of Rome because they are in control of the Council on Foreign Relations under the power of the high provincials from Jesuit universities. The most powerful being Jesuit Georgetown University. It's all a lie. All the wars in history are from the Jesuit general. Under his installed puppet dictators all across the world who secretly and openly are loyal to the Pope of Rome. Every war is planned. The black Pope today, Pope Francis, he is the Jesuit general controlling today's international intelligence community in the East and the West and controlling his global terrorist network that he will use through Islam to destroy the Vatican and move his throne to the Temple Mount. The Jesuit general controls the world of finance, he controls the world of banking all across the planet. The Federal Reserve also, he controls it from the inner city corporation of London. We have a one world government today ruled over by the Black Pope. This is the world conspiracy. The Vatican is in control of the armies of the earth. They control China, they control Russia, they control all nations. This is the Holy Roman Empire of the Black Pope. Even ruling Jerusalem completely today and their Masonic Jewish Zionists who are preparing the way for the rebuilding of Solomon's Temple for the Black Pope who will be the final Papal Caesar. This is the truth. This is the truth. America will be destroyed by the Jesuits of Rome. This is what they will do. They will bring down the economy and they will invade America. They will destroy Rome at the same time. This is why President Kennedy was killed, of course. He defied Rome. He defied the Jesuits. And in his place was placed President Lyndon Johnson, who was a traitor to the American people. And the truth of the matter is, were the people on the Middle East and against Islam, really. And when you look into it, you really have Jesuit trained CFR, CIA director, Knight of Malta, George G. Tennant, director of the CIA. And you have the high level Masonic Bush bloodline, uh, Bonesman from Yale. Also, they're actually, you know, the papal bloodline, but also the House of Stuart. You have the Bin Laden family uh, financial dynasty tied together through the Carlisle Group. All connected through the Knights of Malta. They're all Vatican Knights. And these people should be really, of course, brought to trial and put in prison for high treason. But that will never happen <laughs> in our lifetime. But they will stand before a greater judge. They will stand before Almighty God and give an account for their crimes against this world, against their oppression, tyranny. The Black Pope rules the earth. Everything you know in history is a lie. It's all a lie. It's being rewritten. True history is suppressed. It's covered up. Everything in the Bible has been fulfilled today. Revelation 17 and 18 reveals that there's no hope. You must come out of Babylon the Great. You must come out of the beast system. And that means the vast majority of Protestant churches also. They are no longer part of the Reformation. They're in apostasy. They're under the power of the Vatican. That includes Anglicanism, Baptism, Methodism, every ism. The Methodist church is Romanized 
Jesuitized, Illuminized, all under the power of Rome. Most of the Pentecostal churches are. So don't just think I'm talking about the Vatican, you know, controlling governments and controlling all religions. No, it's a worldwide conspiracy. Worldwide. That's right. And the Muslims will be used to destroy and attack Israel. But obviously they will be under the power of Russia, Gog and Magog through the Eurasian Union. That's the truth. The Vatican will use Islam to be its sword of inquisition. Bringing about the destruction of Rome, the destruction of Mecca, Medini, and even the Jerusalem mosques and the Dome of the Rock. We're about to enter the Great Tribulation. And we have to lift up our voice and expose this great Jesuit world conspiracy. And the true murderers are our presidents, they are our prime ministers, they are our leaders. Those that we think we elect into office, they are our enemy. They are the true murderers. They are the ones that are bringing destruction across the face of the earth. And the greatest murderer today is Pope Francis. My name is Alan Lamont. Thank you for listening. And as always, all roads lead to Rome.